All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And the most, que the most asked question that we get is how do we beat Labyrinth? I see it quite often, and I think I have um, two tips that could be very useful, and a third one that has not been tried yet that I am going to try today on my other account. But number one, in my opinion, only go for your monster level. Stay away from your carts. Stay away from anything that isn't monster levels, unless you have to use the fountain to heal. I mean, if you desperately need a heal, go for it. Now, the moment your labyrinth opens, enter it as soon as possible. And don't even wait till you get stuck. Wait till you think you're going to be stuck. Leave your labyrinth and take a day off. Level up your characters, do whatever you have to do, come back, and the labyrinth is going to be a heck of a lot easier the next day. What I'm going to experiment with today on my iPad and find out, and this is just if you, if you can't beat the labyrinth. If you're constantly beating the labyrinth, do not do this because it's just going to give you less rewards. But if you are unable to beat your labyrinth, maybe removing all of your gear before your labyrinth reset and then going in the labyrinth will make it easier. I don't know yet. I have not tried yet. I'm going to try that on my iPad today. So, in my first video, I said I bought items from the store. That I would buy legendaries, and I would buy things at a discount. If I could go back, I promise you I would not do that. I have had a bit of a halt of progress, and I can tell you, unless you have access to a lot of gems, you should only buy... What would they be called here? They wouldn't be called hero chests. They would be hero summons. From your... From your noble tavern so yeah if i could go back i think i've spent anywhere from six to seven thousand gems and you know that would give us uh, about 25 more summons and also you know those extra summons help to give you your quest which this is what i tend to need the most i'm not sure about you but hero xp that is that is tough to come by and so next one thing I can't do, but you can do, is take every single member of your guild off your friends list. You do not need to have any guild members on your friends list. And the reason being is you're not going to get their mercenaries. You're not going to get all the extra mercenaries you would have from having your guild mates and separate people on your friends list. Doesn't look like we have any to upgrade right now. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot take any of my guildmates off of my friends list because they are actual friends. <laughs> I can't be like, hey man, um, yeah, I gotta, gotta take you off the list. There are a few that aren't, but, oh man, look, we have a bunch that haven't been on here for a while. Yeah, also make sure your friends list is up to date. There's no reason to have people who haven't logged in for, I would say, more than two days. There's a good chance they may not come back to the game. So, two other things, real quick. If you're looking for a guild, 81217, we have two spots open. If you're looking for a friend, <laughs> I now have spaces on my friends list. 8854055. I have four spots available. Um, AFK launch, the gift code, it still works. I saw someone use it yesterday, and unless it's been blocked, this is just for example purposes, because <laughs> I have already used it. Let's see if it'll say that I've already used it. Redemption code. See, I've already used it before, but I believe that means it still works because it would say it had expired if it did not. All right, and this is something that we've gone over before. Um, where was that? Where was that? Wait till the last minute, which... What spot are we in right now? All right, we could try... For 30th, 50 gems is fine. I want to wait till the very last day. But yeah, wait till the very last second so people can't knock you down. Wow, look at this guy. He started off at 230,000. And now he is up to 400k. My goodness. So the retry button, that is your best friend. The moment you know you have an opening, just... Don't get frustrated. I, I see a lot of people who get frustrated and they just want to give up. This has been my... Make sure I have the right gear on right now, too. 
Will we actually? No, we're, uh, the only way we have a shot at that is if Rain gets her ultimate off first. But this button right here, this retry button, I press it all day. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, you don't have to constantly be on it, but you, I, I mean, I was watching movies, I was playing, um, I was playing Path of Exile, and you know, in between, like playing that game, I would do the, uh, keep pressing retry in between doing the little levels on there. I was watching 8-Bit Rhyme with my son. You know, it doesn't take much to click that retry button. And here's the tip from yesterday. For those who don't know, or those who didn't watch yesterday's video, all of your, all of your members that you put in the top in your resonating crystal, they can go above their level cap. I'm still not sure if they can go to 240. It's going to be a long time before I'm sure about that. Now, of course, they won't get the the same stat bonus as if they were plus or legendary. But they will be able to unlock their moves. Such as... It's unwise to stand against them. I'm guessing it was this skill that he recently... Because, yeah, 260. So he's still got the, the level up from the accursed arrow that he would have got if he was a plus character. The only thing we're missing is the is the life, the attack and the defense, but we still are getting a boost from leveling up every time. Now this this tip is from a David's. It is not mine. I cannot I cannot own it. And it really had me thinking about things differently. So when we get to our arena of uh, our Legends Challenger tournament, we need to observe the scene real quick. And I, wait, okay, good, good, I can attack someone. Really, plus eight? Um, okay, so this is a perfect example. I'm still not, I'm not guaranteed that we're going to win this. I don't want to get all cocky. But we're playing to beat two teams. So we need to observe the situation. You know, see what's going on with their teams. Let me take you off. And you. And it's good to build your teams with the stat bonuses, too. If you're not familiar with these, you want to try to get as much as you possibly can from these stat bonuses. But we are always building just to beat two teams. So we have a couple bonuses there. Not sure if he's going to make a good tank, but I think that's the best that we're working with right now. See, this is the main problem I'm seeing here, this Brutus. So we may have to switch you out. I'm trying to think who could take hits better. He could definitely take hits better. Maybe he'll taunt someone up there. So, observe the situation. Build your teams to beat the two other teams. I mean, this is an opponent that's way stronger than us, so I do not expect to win. But let's just take a quick look. And let me just say once again, thank you, Davids. This is your tip. This is not my tip. I'm not trying to take credit for this tip. So the first one, we're going to get crushed on the ground, of course. As we win this one, though, we have a shot. Uh-oh. Get his little bat move where he becomes invisible forever. Alright, last one. Let's hope we get this. If we do, this is an opponent significantly stronger than us. And the only reason we won is because we built a V2 team. Brutus, come on. Die already, man. Uh-oh. It's not looking too good. That Brutus ruined everything. Yeah, that Brutus. We're, we're lucky we got that. I thought for a second there Brutus was going to ruin it for us. But that is, you build for two teams... And then you have the opportunity to uh, 
beat a player who is significantly stronger than you are if they have not. And that also comes into making, trying to even out your formations. Um, try not to load up on one formation. Try to even them out. Get those bonuses. You know, get your faction bonuses. And I think that's all we have for today. Oh, one other tip is if you can, you know, try to get some high-level friends. <laughs> I know you just want to fill up your friends list as fast as possible, but kind of view view who's uh, requesting to be your friend because you want them to have the best possible heroes for these bonuses. I mean, look, if you ever get those final bonuses, 2,000 HP, 50 defense, 10% HP, 10% defense just from one... So, kind of get friends around your level, or if you can, trade up. Get friends that are way higher than you. I thank you all for watching. I hope these tips help you out. We will update this guide again. I am still only three weeks again. But I think this is better than the first one. Y'all have a great day!